stand easy. It's Salty, favorite sergeant. And today I bring you episode number two of Hogwarts Legacy. Now, while I was rewatching the video, there was a certain part that didn't sit well with me. In particular, uh, of an individual on a bridge that may have been contemplating taking his life. I'm going to leave that in in order to bring awareness about mental health. Mental health is a serious issue. It affects everyone, regardless of your race, gender, or your societal background. So I feel it's important that we take care of each other, take care of yourself, because you matter. That being said, let's get on with the show. Alright, here we go. Back at it. From what I remember last time, we got selected into House Gryffindor. I believe this is our first day at school. Uh, I feel like I may be late, but who knows? So let's get started. This is where this came out. Huh. Got him lost. Now, which way is the common room? Yeah, good question. Revelio. Secrets? Those are secrets. Nice. Just taking in the time to soak it all in. Oh. There I was up there. Pretty. Disappoint. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Sure is. But oh my name. Salty. Don't mind the scar. I got it fighting a dragon. I definitely didn't uh stumble and hit my head on a door. God, there's so many people talking. Ooh. Do? Um. This isn't Coyote Ugly. That's not safe. You should come down. I'm so highly strung. It's perfectly safe. Debatable. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Could be impressive. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Good to meet you, Nelly. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon. Um, do you not see my gorgeous scar on my face? Nothing I it couldn't handle. True. But I, uh, we handled it very well. Very modest. I'll say. <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness. Anyway, good you've thing it's not clumsiness. To Gryffindor. 
And Hogwarts, for that matter. What are people saying? What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us uh, how about watching the brutal Not murder like of somebody? Dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. Nobody seems to care about that. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But, with all the strange hallways and roofs Responsibility. And, the castle, and everything lurking in and ah. outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to Where's Nelly? incredible here. <laughs> I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Of you. Humble brag. No. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. Well, nice to meet you. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Again, up on the rafters. What do we got going on here? Really like someone to try it. Are you born in there? A little hooch, Mr. Gareth? Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. <laughs> guy sitting in the you corner doesn't you. look very pleased. pleased. Heard about your travels here? Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Yeah, and they oh, got. Uh, Brutally yes. murdered. Friend of Professor Figs. Friend questionable. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Did you not Thank see you the scar? Right. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Well, that's nice. Be nice having an aunt. The nice Professor. lady. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. What is that in your Are bug? You having butter Weasley. Breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? It's twins well, on the couch. As I see it, there's little difference fundamentally. I don't trust them. A modification they look to creepy. A beer and a Wiganweld potion. Though I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, good to meet you. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Look at that guy. Just staring very intensely. What else do we got going? Ooh, secret? No. I see you. Hmm. Mm. Love nuts. Oof. That's intense. Got PTSD going on. Dragon attack. Hmm. Tea? Is that? Yeah. They can pass as twins. The fancy butterfly. Oh, did he just give me the knife hand? Oh, no, he didn't. Ooh, secret? Oh, what did I do wrong this time? Everything. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. 
It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. Hello. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Did you not see my scar? Professor Fig's protege. Yeah, I've studied with him. Humble brag. I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is nope. that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get it. You'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. That'll grow. Is it really that difficult to cast them verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> I wouldn't be happy either. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good well, luck to you. Good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I shall. New Gryffindor. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Leave the alley. Hey. Hey. Revelio. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, carrying on. God, break your neck. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are. Me neither. Make the most Wasn't the greatest at school. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year... You'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OW. Do you know who I am, lady? O -W Do you see the scar? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education, I think I'm going to end up as a janitor. Devise something extraordinary to but ensure your success. Obviously, nothing wrong with janitor. Here you are. That's a fancy book. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I will, and thank you. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Sure it will. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. A guide? Hey, this how's it going? Fifth year, first year. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizard. Dragon Hunter here. Flux for the ladies. Ooh, sorry. Is fire. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Okay. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Ah, 
the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor <laughs> Barufio. Yeah, I would say so. Simply cast <laughs> that uh, bull looks like he's having a good time. Oh, what was I supposed to do? Revelio. Ooh. Secret? This portrait depicts the wizard Arufio, famed for his brain elixir, and an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F, found himself with a buffalo on his chest. I feel your pain. I always hate it when a buffalo sits on my chest. Open field guide. Okay. Owl? Oh, I thought it was giving. Thought it was gonna get Harry Potter glasses. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Hey, ladies, like my scar from a dragon. What's this? Uh oh. <gasps> Kitty. Pet. A kitty. Hey kitty, soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Don't mind me, ladies. Dragon killer here. You the scare? What is this? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames. Ooh, flu flame. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Open my map. Okay. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall. Thanks for that information. Select the south wing. Okay. Okay. Ooh, fast travel. And here we are. Quite the time saver. I would These say. Stairs lead directly to I have no idea where I'm going. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Ooh. That. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Yeah, that would be nice. I need some underwear. Yes, tell me more about this Charms class. Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard, and a talented teacher. I'll be the judge of that. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evil. Are you calling me dumb? Beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Is there a job for 
Dragon Slayer. See the Scar Lady. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require. Might uh, go to the pub for a pint. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer. Oh, there I will. In due course. All the butter beer. Oh, I got distracted. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, he did all right. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. Did you not know that a ministry member was brutally murdered? Did he leave that part out? Oh, lady. Loose lips sink ships. You're not getting anything out of me. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Shh. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil... Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. In the second coming of Harry Potter. They both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Are you spying on me? Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. And pub. Hey, Professor, did I do good? I didn't spill the beans. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's you did. interrogation regarding our late arrival? <laughs> you definitely I did. did. But I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. Uh. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? That Unfold would be beneficial. Yeah, I want to learn a Vioso. Let's go to that one. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. 
Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies. The pub. Including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, end of my power. Classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. No pressure. I got this. Compass. Ooh, it's like Fable. Revelio. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Did you notice my scar? Everyone scar? thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to Secret? This. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. Secrets? If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. Ooh. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Who's that? I stare. Pole. Looks like this, actually. Looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Okay. Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. The statue with an engraving grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous potion, potion that makes the drinker believe. Whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. I need friends. Okay, there's a butterfly here. Lumos. Ooh, see. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. So I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Or I shouldn't. Oh, she's gonna be so jealous. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. No big deal. How? Mm -hmm. 
No, I have nothing to lose. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone. And explaining. The moth. I should have seen that. E. I mean, you did help me with half the puzzle. The least I could do is share. Hey, ladies. It's supposed to go. Currently tracking. Okay, then. Yes, to do this one. Levioso. Get back here. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot I could jump. Hey ladies, like the scar? Ooh, a so flame. Nice to see you, my young friend. Who was that? Oh. We have a brand new game. Just beware the open flame. Hello, can I talk to you? Or if there's an achievement for spinning globes. I see you. Painting of Ilias. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, famously saved his entire village from an army of dementors and the dark wizard Ragzidian. A conjuring. A mouse, Patronus. I'm probably butchering these names. Boiled by a lock. God, it's so beautiful. Wee. All right, up we go. Ooh, that's creep. You need to scan my eyeball. What are you up Plant. to now? All right, let's learn. you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Um, now, you may be no? asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from mm. death at the hands she of must be like a fine more wine. times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Schooled. One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Yes. OK. 
catch me. Oh, I'm so smart. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. I see you. Let us begin with a basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast? I do. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. Levioso. Good. Now, the basic. Well done. I'm kind of a legend. Very good. But. Did you see the scar? Practice is by dueling. Ooh, dueling. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair I guess so. Using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may Protego. begin. Who's Protego again? At the block? This should be easy. Protego! Protego? Levioso takes things. Good form. I know. <laughs> Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Levioso. A perfectly executed Levioso. You got nothing on me. Huh. Let's just say Easy. I'm a learner. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to see the scar. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Oh, thank you. I demand Humble break. from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins. Is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, Perhaps. well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. What are you looking at? On a duel? Hey, my I'd scar. Like to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Hmm, friendly. That's what you're gonna end up in the friend zone. Revelio. Ooh. Good. Eberdan, black skeleton. This large. Dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. Um, do you know that taking war trophies is against the Geneva Convention? sure if anybody told you that but it is hey you drilled sebastian he's strong competition well done thanks if you know the right spells it's dark wizards that'll fear you not the other way around thanks for the advice are you nice ready work. to eat some humble pie i enjoyed that well that duel was quite something everyone will be talking about it it was certainly good practice Practice. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. It was. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, 
you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned, you say? This definitely sounds unsanctioned. Thing. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Tell me Whether more. it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look Definitely the skill. Near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Oh, I'm interested. And I'll see you there. Until next time. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Revelio. There a chest here. Go to Charms Clubs. Indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Hey, ladies, you see my performance? Ooh, I'll have some tea. Thank you. Delicious. All those new expensive schools we bought, and you leave them on platform nine and three quarters. You are damn lucky that the station guard found them first. I'm sending a Revelio. Secret. God, this game is so pretty. Excuse me, coming through. Legend here. See the scar? No, no secrets. Lumos. Okay. Or if they're all close by. Attention. A. I should go to class, but I kind of want to find this secret. Where? Mm, that is burning. Revelio. Class to attend to. Revelio. Show me the way. <gasps> the secret. Hold on, class. 
I got secrets to attend to. Here. Ooh. The washroom. Excuse me. Hello. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hello? Hello? Don't mind me. Coming through. Secrets? Oh, I just got poo water all over me. Poo chest. Got a beret. Wait. What are doing? Secret. That's... <gasps> I said that travel broadened there. the mind. Lumos. <laughs> this. Drop those books. All right, now I gotta get. Guess I didn't really explore. Oh, you're smart. You are smart. How do I open? Some kind of visibility? Maybe I need a cloak. Hello. Don't mind me. Are you pooping? Oh, poo water right in the face. I'm gonna have pink eye for days. Hmm. Don't mind me. Coming through. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Oh, do you? Yes, I will be in this quest. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh, thank you. Hello, I am Natty. Hi, Natty. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? Nope. <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Sure. Right. Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Oh, come on. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a Isn't toll on <laughs> Just getting a little refresher. You all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> Obliterate. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? That's what the butterbeer is for. Hmm. Well, it 
seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Yeah, get into place. Stop wasting class time. So smart. Akio. Thank you. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. Thanks. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough. She looks like she's stiff competition. Well, have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day. I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Ooh. Okay. After me. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? Uh, did you not know that it was cancelled so, this year? What better than a bit of sport? Rub it in the wound. Put the prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Got here. A duel? Bocce ball? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Sure. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charge. Akio, the last possible. Very now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. Not to worry. Oof. That was a hard one. Pity points. Excellent control there. Fifty points. Very Not good. bad. Points to Gryffindor. Thanks. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Competition? Yes, and I, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are I am red. Clear? Not yes, gonna sir. go easy on you. Oh, I'm ready. Here we go. Can I? There we go. Push. Uh -huh. I don't want that one. Not exactly your typical lesson, is yeah. it? Not that I mind. I'm gonna be ruthless. Enough power. Watch this. Deal. Brilliant. Be sharp. Oh no, you <laughs> I was gonna say that would have been Akio. Perfect score. score. Remarkable. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Sure. I'm up for a challenge. 
<laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. This round settles it all? What do you mean? I already beat her. There we go. I can't see, lady. Ouch! Well played. <laughs> I like how I actually moved <laughs> to try and see over her shoulder. That was gonna do any difference. Yes! You have set yourself up. This one. I apologize. Oh no! Oh no! Happens to the best of us. Oh, I screwed myself. <laughs> uh, definitely need to take this one out to tie it. Oof! That is how it's done. I got greedy. That was bad. Oh no! Oh well. Good game. Very good, both of you. Well done. I got way too greedy there. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. Good job. You the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thanks. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it light. Did you see my scar? I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So I did not know that. Bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Fingers. It's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Sure is. It's nice Thank to you. learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Probably gonna rub some salt into my wound for losing. You can use Akio on humans. A word, if, if you would. so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, yeah, I did okay. An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss exactly. Mr. is a talented witch, 
Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course. Unless you die. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Mm. <laughs> this lady does not look happy. You need to cheer her up. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. To cry about it. Um, you're up. A little zap will do you some good. No. Revelio. Secrets. Say. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. And maybe just a touch. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? I am. Hello. Be my you scar. To speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. That's not good. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. You can just call me a teacher's pet. Uh. Yeah, go on. Yeah. <gasps> kitty! You're such a good kitty. <gasps> Another cat. Kitty! Be a shame if somebody stuffed these books. Black leather gloves. Sounds ominous. And then the werewolves join the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you in the Goblin Rebellion of 1752? And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it was interesting. Oh, what fun! I won't say much. Did that cat just change color? Kitty! You answered her back that day over the puff steam food. She's never been the same since. I was a bit surprised. Answering garlic back could be one thing, but how in? We're lucky you made it out alive. Is there purple haze? Oh, constellations. Cool. Secret? I want to do this. Unsanctioned by club. First rule about Fight Club is to tell everybody about Fight Club. Oh, okay, this cat is following. Wonder if they're used for anything. Probably missing it entirely. I 
I must do battle. I must win. I must avenge the loss that I took. Wee! Oh, Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, please, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me. <laughs> this is harassment. But he failed us, did his containment charms. So I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. We must go to Fight Club. Looking at well, if you're supposed to be leaning on the rail, it's about three feet in front of you. Uh, but I also want to take the opportunity to ask, like, how are you? You look stressed. I hope you're not contemplating doing anything stupid because. That would just be a tragedy. Wow. I can see everything up here, though. Really nice. And by the way, I didn't mean stupid. Just and something that you may regret. And that you cannot take back. Check in on your friends. Levioso. Secret? I will take that. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, hey. Bike club. You're happy. Revelio. <sighs> I get up there. Revelio. Accio. Whoa. Yes. Oh, hey, what's up? Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. Well, thanks. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Well. That is nice to hear. I'm flattered to hear. Did that. you see my scar? Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see. I just schooled him though. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. That's gonna be me. Determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Ooh. Interested? Absolutely. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. I don't need any help. Care to step into the ring? Yes. Put me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin. Let's see if I learned anything. We'll make you regret signing up. Okay. Levioso. Don't try away now. Levioso. You're better than that. Ow. Oh, I'm 
I'm getting smoked. Ow. Oh no. the skin of my teeth. I am not as good as I thought it was. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. I need a lot of work. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. No. Oh, thank you. Congratulations on your first crossed ones victory. One of many to come. Hope to see you back here again. That was definitely humbling. That's for sure. Can I get out? No. Okay. Carrying on. I should see what quest I have to go to now. How nice to see you, my young friend. I guess I could try to learn how to do this. Confusing. I do not have any locked. Unfortunate. something with me. <gasps> Kitty. What am I supposed to do with these cats? Don't want to hit it with a spell. Revelio. There. Treasure chest here. Do you lead me to the treasure? Lumos. No. Revelio. Are these all the spells? Levioso. Oh, kitty, you're floating. Let me pet you again. Nice kitty. Akio. I don't know. Hang on. What about the room, Professor? Yes. I was thinking the same thing, Deke. What about the room? Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I did okay. I as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. 
Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Uh, are we doing this dance again, Professor Weasley? Did you not know loose lips sink ships? Absolutely not. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, so... Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the, the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a- I'm a real boy wand, now. You'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander oh, convenient. is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. That's complicated. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'll definitely need them. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. If my duo was Everyone, anything. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh, definitely Natty. Natty was cool. Like Schooled me. Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will Sounds like we're going to get up to some no to mischief. Wait. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer. I'm going to get smashed. Drinking all the butter beer. Okay. Revelio. Fritz. Ooh. Partial transfiguration. Partially transfigured teacup. Likely the soon-to-be-reversed heir of a second year serves as a cautionary tale for those students who do not take seriously the complexities and danger of transfiguration. It's got a rat tail. Interesting. There's a lock I can't open, but when I do... Ooh, chest. Definitely need those potions. Ooh, a bunny hat. Okay. Get it. Ah, 
had. There's this chest here. Ah, there you are. You have yes. a spell to teach me, Professor. Teach Indeed me. I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up. Reparo. As new in the blink of an eye. Huh. It seems as if that might come in handy. I'm More sure it will. More than one would imagine. As I am going to destroy I'm everything. the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some... Sounds like today. chores. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Yeah, I'll just I'll complete the, the task. task. Right away, Professor. I see you. Revelio. Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of Wyvern on top. It serves as a relaxing place for students to gather, despite rumors to the contrary. Possibly started by Sir Cadogan. This is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Hey, how's it going? Okay. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Roots. I'll take that. I got it. Oh, I gotta go get another page. Okay then. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Spirits. Oh, my exams. Not a one of them deserves more than it's say. Who's talking? Hey, how's it going? See my scar? Cool. Revelio. Might some kind soul help me? Hmm, maybe. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I don't hate you. Why does everyone hate everyone you? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. That's fun. Game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. That does not sound fun. <laughs> yeah, that sounds I awful. Much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do, or at least not often. That's probably why no one so likes you. Cool. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own <laughs> fault for losing. You suck. Imelda so you must get farts in the face. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather That's a little their part. overreaction. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. 
Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. That was a stupid question. That high got up there somehow. Yeah, I'm not going to ask that question. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <laughs> Getting farts in the face, huh? Get over here. Did I get these gobstones? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, I'm already here, huh? And I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. Uh, they were kind of annoying. Places. Oh, that's a dragon. That is so. I love switching spells. Put my brother's treacle tart for a fish pie one. You still won't eat you out. Well, looks like these gobstones are lost. I tried. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. <laughs> <gasps> A gobstone? Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Tell it farts in your face. Let me try to find one more. Revelio. Secrets? Hey, how's it going? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I am collecting all the pay. I got what are you up to now? Nothing. Stop staring at me. <gasps> okay. <gasps> Kitty. Should I be up here? Doesn't. Yes, I should. Rebellion. Palmistry model. This standing model of a hand is demarcated to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which this model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. Uh, like I'm gonna die in a fortnight. Ooh, a chest. I'll take that 55 gold. <gasps> Just gonna turn my back. You don't see me? Nope. 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 See me.
Ooh. Crits? Okay. Do we? Oh, nay. Under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor, Deputy Headmistress, to offer you the position of Divination Professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards. Professor Matilda Weasley. Oh, this is Nettie's mom. Hello, Nettie's mom. I can't talk to you. Hey then. Doing. Oh, I was looking for these fart stones. Yeah. I cannot slide down. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, watch out, coming through. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Hmm. Oh, I see you. Revelio. <gasps> oh God. Ass. Ass. Who chest? This. <sighs> Is this the cipher to the door? I should probably look at that cipher and figure this out. But I got some fart stones to catch. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I should. That's some good advice. The crits? Hey, how's it going? Nice buck. Mascar? then it's a long way down oh how cute Distracted. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I see you. Remember this.
God, that is so... Something's still going up. I will figure you out. But first, gotta get these fart stones. It just keeps on going. God. At the end. Revelio. Adventure, are we? I am. Have you seen or smelt the fart stones? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school. Ooh, for treasure. Stones. Classical trim school robe. Don't mind me. Just looking for some fart stones. Revelio. The Goblet of Fire Casket. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel encrusted chest. The Goblet has served as a means of selecting champions of the Triwizard Tournament since the contest establishment in the late 13th century. Interesting. Secret. Herbology Award in recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology. Hogwarts bestows a special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff Maribel Garlic from mandrakes to mistletoe and butto tubers to bouncing bulbs. Her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Maybe she got a lesson. From Snoop Dogg. Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I entered. Accio. Yes. Ah. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. I should. And cash in. A gurry skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix, or augury, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Time to get these poop stones. I hope you 
had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Just a little. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Well, not a thief. Of course, they are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after. What a wonderful idea. Back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. <laughs> Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. I would like to play a game of poop stones with you later. I think that sounds nice. How to break locks open yet? I completed the assignments, Professor. Forgot about this guy. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try, then, shall we? Shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. I am a conduit. So smart. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, Repair. have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover. <gasps> Showing off is a marble trait. You don't see that sort of behavior in the wizard's world. Well, I had a friend who once went to a library. You staring at me? E. Revelio. What are you up to now? Nothing good, I assure you. Oh, where is this taking me? She 
secret. Oh. Oh. I got a Hannibal Lecter mask out of it. Hey, go on, see my scar. Itty. The wooden cat. This wooden statue bears the likeness. Pangordon. Fearless feline, mouse hunter, and devoted study companion. I does not look happy. Hello, looking for me? I am. Revelio. Secrets. Flattened armor. This set of armor belonged to Sir Skagglethorpe, the heedless who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Looks like uh Face got smashed in a little. Velvet house cloak. Hello, Natty. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. I've been collecting fart stones. That you need to go to Hogsbeat. I do. Must be eager to have your own things again. And I am. To see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we? Butterbeer. I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Hmm. Looking forward to it. <laughs> My guy he looks awkward just standing there. Was glad Professor Weasley asked me and that's all the time that we have for this episode. I want to thank you for watching episode number two of Hogwarts Legacy. Remember, be kind and stay salty. Dismissed.